Welcome to the Community Library Storytime. I am Miss Karee, and today I am going to be reading a couple books about mothers. May 9th is Mother's Day. Now, in order to say Mother's Day, we'd go mother, put your hand up for five, tap your chin, that's mother, and put your left, your arm up, one of your arms, it doesn't matter, and the other one on it, so you can kind of see, and then go down. So this is day, mother's day. Day. Okay, are you ready to sing? This is called We Love Mothers and it's from it's the tune of Frere Jaca. So, you ready? Okay. And this is a sign for love. So you can do love. So, we love mothers. We love mothers. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mothers are for hugging. Mothers are for kissing. Mwah. We love you, we love you, Ma thank you mothers, thank you mothers, for your love, for your love, mothers are for hugging, mothers are for kissing, Mwah. we love you, yes we do. All right, good job. So now I am going to read you the first book, which is called Me and Mama. See, there's a little girl right here, just like you, with her mom. And this book was written by Cosby A. Cabrera. Okay, and also remember that you can check books out like this from your local library. Like I have books out here, like my mom is a firefighter. And over here on this side, there's some, and one has Caillou with his mom. Okay. Me and Mama. They're there sitting together, just like you and your mom do. Good morning to you, sings Mama, bright as sun. Sometimes she sings it like the birthday song. I've tiptoed to where she is in the house. It smells like cinnamon. Papa and Luca are still sleeping, but I want to be everywhere Mama is. I put my nose to the window. My breath makes a cloud inside. The clouds outside are wearing shadows. The wind is painting the outside window with beads of water. It's raining, I say. The perfect day for boots and puddles, says Mama. Bathroom first, she says. Then water, I say. This is Mama's cup. Sometimes I take a cool sip. But I have to be careful because her cup is breakable. This is my cup. Mama's cup goes clink, clink with a spoon. My cup goes duh, duh. Clink, clink, clink. Duh, duh. Clink, 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 clink. Sometimes things break, Mama says. This is Mama's toothbrush. This is mine. I get less toothpaste. Round my teeth with little circles, Mama says. Round my teeth with little circles, I say. It's shower and dress time. Mama holds up my towel. A shower is warm rain. That gets you going. Mama and I both have silver dresses. I wear mine with silver shoes. They're my favorite. Today is not silver dress day, Mama tells me. I put my silver dress back on the hanger and pick the plaid pants instead. Comb hair, says Mama. She points to my chair. I'm hungry, I say. Mama thought of this ahead of time. She has warm oatmeal in the pot. This is 
Mama's bowl. She likes berries. And this is my bowl. I like bananas. See bananas on top. Calm here, Mama says. Again, I don't want the bumblebee barrette. I don't like the bumblebee barrette, I say. Mama closes her hand. She knows I mean just for today. She gives me the blue barrette. Comb hair, I say. See, there's her blue barrette. I point to Mama's chair. Mama smiles. I give Mama the purpley pink barrette. It's right there. It matches her dress. She calls it fuchsia. That's another color we can learn. Out we go, I say. Max is waiting. These are my rain boots, and those are Mama's rain boots. Mama's rain boots are bigger than mine, and they're red. I watch for Max's tail before I close the door. Max doesn't wear boots. There's his tail right there. Outside, a woodpecker pecks. The sidewalk is longer than it is wide. I love the grass that grows in between. It's moss, says Mama. I say it's velvet. There it is down here growing between the cracks. Do you see that? A hole is where a branch was, and nets are left behind from winter. Sometimes things don't let go. But for what? The stores are boxes filled with people. We sing out loud to, to the sky. Sky is taller, taller than the trees. Mama says a song is high and low. Splash. You guys like to splash too? The outside clouds are pink with the sleepy sun. The day and our good are done. Mama puts me and Luca to bed. Our day is done earlier than Papa and Mama. It's just the way you are when you're growing. Mama reads to us. I read to Mama. I begin each story with sometimes. Mama laughs. She throws her head back and shines her teeth. I laugh too. You're my best girl, Mama whispers. Luca is already asleep. I slip through the blanket tunnel and close and it closes by my chin. There's the kiss. I love you, Mama, I yell. And she turns off the light. My mouth gets sleepy first. There we go. The walls are dark except for the window where the stars are hanging. I close my eyes and let the day spin some pictures. There's Max and Luca and Papa and Mama's laugh and the holes in the tree. Right there are holes in the tree. and the mossy velvet as green grass, and full boxes, and a blue barrette, and a whole cup, and a beaded window with warm indoor rain. Oh, and oh, there'll be me and Mama right here. There they are, huddled together. All right. So my next story is How to Raise a Mom by Jean Reagan and Lee Wildish. Raising a healthy, happy mom is fun and important. Are you ready for some tips? Help your mom begin the day. How to start her morning. Let her sleep in. Kiss, kiss, kiss her awake. Open the curtains and say, rise and shine. Your breakfast is ready. When it's time to get dressed, give her choices. 
how to dress a mom. Not too serious, not too silly, not too sparkly, and this one is perfect. A mom can forget things when she's in a rush, so pile it all at the door. There are snacks, toys, purse, keys, phone, shopping list, library books to return, and letters to mail. Check, check, check. Errands are fun until you end up in a long line. If your mom starts to get cranky, surprise her with a snack and a toy. If that doesn't work, act out a fun story. If that still doesn't work, say, thank you so much, sweet pea, for being patient. When you are finally done, you might run into a friend. Right away, plan a play date for your mom. Remember, to uh, whisper, remember to share. Back at home, if your mom has work to do, tell her it's quiet time. Then start your own project. On regular days, moms tidy up without being asked. Today, it's your turn. A healthy exercise, a happy, healthy, strong mom needs exercise. How to exercise with mom? Take turns scoring goals, race against the wind, hop like a kangaroo, swing like a monkey, and slither like a snake. When your mom is tired, show her the best way to relax. How to relax? Do a yoga pose, look for wiggly worms, slimy snails, and roly poly bugs, and sing her a lullaby. So if you would like to um, remember to check out these books. And thank you for joining me today. See you next time. Bye.